Yes, Pro John Media, baseball legend Willie Mays, all around great of Americans past time, dead at 93. Yes, many thanks to you wherever you're watching in from. So, Willie Mays, the Hall of Fame at center field, whose all around skills made him one of the greatest baseball players of all time died on tuesday at the age of 93 major league baseball announced mays who um who brought an explosive exuberance to the game in his peak years died of heart failure the san francisco chronicle reported mays played 23 seasons for the new york giants uh, San Francisco Giants and, and New York Mets from 1951 through 1973. In his prime, he could do it all on the baseball field. Mays was the epitome of what came to be known as five-tool player, meaning he was exceptional at hitting for average, hitting for power, fielding, throwing, and base running. But May's talent was only part of what made him a superstar. He also played with a valve and passion that were discernible even to spectators in the cheap seats. He was known for playing stickball with kids on the streets of Harlem near the former Celine Dion shed tears on played. stage as she introduces in her new documentary the lighted, um, Celine Dion Sprint Pro Gen Media many to you for that you're watching in front from so an and emotional Celine Dion was handed a, a tissue by her son down Rain Charles as she today, delivered a speech on stage during a screening media. of her new film at New York City's Ali Stali Hall on Monday. So tears was visible as Celine Dion told the audience at the close of her remarks, thank you to you all from the bottom of my heart for being part of my journey. This movie is my love letter to you and hope to see you all again very, very soon. She said prompting the audience to erupt in cheers and applause. The Canadian singer was diagnosed with the rare autoimmune neurological disorder in 2002, but has since admitted she was grappling with a condition in secrecy for nearly two decades before going public that December. She has since revealed why she was reluctant to confirm her diagnosis while secretly battling the condition for almost 17 years. Her battle with the condition will be laid bare in forthcoming documentary I'm Selling Dion as and as she discusses her reason for withholding the diagnosis in a scene from the new film. Addressing the cameras, uh, Celine Dion admitted being apprehensive about making the announcement while cancelling her carriage uh, to a world tour in December 2002 because she was not capable of being the best of her. Speaking to E! News on the red carpet, uh, Alice told us all as the documentary uh, was premiered on Monday evening, she added, it's not about choosing what you have, it's dealing with what's happening. The singer also admitted she hopes her willingness uh, to be open will inspire others to seek help. I hope that this will give them wings and strength to reach out and talk to people and say it's worth it. Progen Media.